Today on the channel, we go clubbing with the Outlander nightclub encounter figures. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for our daily Star Wars unboxing and review in 2021 and possibly beyond. And today on the channel, we're taking a trip to the Outlander nightclub. Oh yes, we're hobnobbing, we're dancing, we're juking, we're jiving, we're getting some drinks, we're going all out to the Outlander nightclub. And it's part of the Attack of the Clones collection. But remember, for all your Star Wars needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. So we're going to unbox these like we do all the figures on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there. But yeah, we're talking Out Club, Outlander Nightclub. Yes, a little nightclub action. Uh, a brief scene in the Attack of the Clones movie, uh, but one that stole our heart and didn't make me remember anything, really, because I don't remember a lot about this scene. But a few things are hitting me up, and I remember all these characters, obviously, especially Obi-Wan. But we're going to start with the females. I guess this is a female. Ivita. Ivita. And she actually looks really hot for a Twi'lek. Uh, I don't know. This is a nice glamour shots of her on here. You, can, you look past the Twi'lek uh, thing and you say, well, this chick's pretty hot. I don't know if this is the right actress or what. I don't really remember her. I briefly remember her in this scene. But one of those figures, and same with this guy over here, I don't think we ever got another figure out. These were their first and only figures and probably the way it'll remain forever. So uh, very interesting history being made here with the Outlander Nightclub uh, figures. So there you go. But there's the packaging. We know it's the Attack of the Clones because it says so right on the side on that little banner right there. Uh, she does come with a little stool, like a bar stool type thing to sit on. And then she does come with a drink cup. We've seen them in red, we've seen them in blue, now we're seeing a cup in purple. So uh, the dishes are going to be done, and they're going to be done in different colors. That's what we're going to see. And she is a Twi'lek, of course. Uh, so yeah, we're used to a few Twi'leks throughout the Star Wars universe. She looks like she might be dancing for Jabba one of these days. You never, never know. So there it is. On the back, we've got a glamour shot of her. we got a glamour shot of the figures. we got cross cells down below. We've got a little blurb as well. We're going to read all about Ivita. Aya Vita. I hope I'm saying that right. I don't want to offend her. Uh, but here's what it says. The consort of local crime boss, Hatlow. Oh, Hatlow. The beautiful Twi'lek. Well, she is beautiful. I called that out. So, hey, we're on the same page here. You, you me, and Hasbro copywriter. I, Vita has been tainted by the criminal underworld. She continues to look for an opportunity to escape Lowe's repressive clutches after catching the eyes of a dapper, oh, I love the word dapper, a dapper Republic guard one night at the Outlander nightclub. She hopes the guard will rescue her. Her hope is in vain, for he is an imposter, one of the many posers who frequent the club for their own nefarious purposes. Imposter is a hip word with the kids these days. My kids call everybody, oh, that guy's an imposter. So somewhere down in the elementary age, imposter is making a comeback. That's a, a hip word these days. We also got 10 Jedi Master points. I believe those do buy you unlimited drinks at the Outlander Nightclub, FYI. So let's unbox Aya Vita. And I'll never remember her name after today. See you later. See you later. Hi, Avita. There she is in the plastic prison. She's buckled in in the back with some dental floss. We know that'll break right out very easily. Get that purple cup out. There it is. Oh, yeah. It just breaks right through. See you later. Oh, it's all sticky and gross on her. You guys know I hate the dental floss. It is what it is, though. But I, Vita, so a different Twi'lek than the dancing Twi'leks we've seen before and the ones we've seen in uh, Rebels, the cartoon Rebels, of course. Hera Sedulia, is that right? Is that right? I don't know. I don't know. I go off freeform off the head, but very good. She's got the Twi'lek, uh, not hair, not braids, I don't know, horns. I don't know what we're calling these here. She's got kind of a jumpsuit, bodysuit going on. She does have the knee articulation, but her legs are all kinds of warped, so you got to kind of push them back into place. She's got power of the force articulation outside of the knees, the hands and arms go up, head side to side, no waist going on here. So she would have trouble standing. I don't even know how she's going to sit on this throne, this kind of stool, but a cool bar stool type thing going on right here. The cup, like I said, purple cup. We've had red, we've had blue, a cup's a cup. She will hold it. Look how sticky that is. We just hate that tape. It just holds in there. Hate it. 
but we'll put it in her hand here. Hopefully it stays. Yeah, it's not staying in that hand. It's got to go on the right or the left. All right, we've got her hair folded up. Will she sit on here without falling down? Yeah, she sits okay. Okay, I guess. Kind of looks like a little kid sitting up on a bar stool. It reminds me of myself uh, sitting in my grandpa's garage when he was welding and working. I'd sit on a little stool. My legs wouldn't hit the floor, and I'd just sit up there. And, yeah, little Kyle's watching. And I loved watching him weld. I wouldn't wear protective goggles. I said, let me look in that flame. Let me look in that flame. Let me see if I can ruin my eyes. My grandpa was always so worried about my eyes, which is good. He, he didn't want me to go blind, so that was nice of my grandpa. Uh, but it looks all right. I wish she had a peg hole. If there was a peg hole on here, she could sit and then have a, a peg hole in her butt or a hole in her butt she could stick in. That way you know she would stay very well. Uh, but it is what it is. I guess uh, if you don't bump your display and stuff like that, she'll sit here just fine. And much like some of these other nightclub patrons out there, I'm probably going to put her in the Mose Isley Cantina or something along them lines because I don't foresee me building out the Outlander nightclub on a display. Display... Uh, Space is a premium. We all know that. And I don't know if Outlander deserves a prime spot in my display. Maybe it does in yours. You guys can tell me in the comments. So there it is. She sits there through the magic of YouTube. Now we turn our attention to a drug dealer. Yes, a drug dealer. Reminds me of the old G.I. Joe episodes. Uh, you guys remember that one episode way back in the day uh, where the guys were on drugs and we actually had a, a guy die? That never happened to G.I. Joe. But we have drug dealers in the Star Wars universe. Uh, I think they're giving some kind of sticks out or something like that. There's also, isn't spice like a drug? I don't know. I don't know, but we got a drug dealer. I remember this guy's scene in the movie. He was in there briefly, and you guys know how it goes with Star Wars. Even if they're in briefly, you got to give them at least a little bit of a figure, and that's what we got right here. And this guy's name, Ellen Sleazebagano. So Sleazebagano, get it? Oh, a little play on words here. Come on. It's a little weak, Star Wars team. You get some of these great names out there like Kessick and Admiral Akbar and... I always wonder where you come up. This one seems kind of a little a little cheesy, a little too easy. Like a little kid did this. I don't know. Just me. Attack on clones, ribbon on the side. We come with like a bar, an actual bar here with a drink. And it looks like he's got his drugs that he was selling there as well. So we got drugs as an accessory. Love that. Call the DEA agents. We'll, we'll have them here in a second. So there it is. You got a little glamour shot down below, of course. Uh, a lot going on with this package. So it must have what first, first and only time in the line. Glamour shot up top, figure glamour shots, cross cells, got a blurb, Star Wars logo up there, all that fun stuff. UPCs, 10 more Jedi Master Points. What more could you ever want? There it is. See you later. See you later. All right, Plastic Prison. Look at all that. You got the bar, you got the drink, you got the drugs. You got a party. That's what that is. That's a, a party on wheels. We're locked in here. We got tape going on. We got drugs. Can I get these drugs out without spilling them? Nobody likes spilled drugs. What are we? Jesus, tape. This is the strongest tape I've ever come across. Holy cow, what, what planet is this tape from? After all these years, that strong, you don't see that very often. Get the old scissors. Cut. Always have to have the scissors at the ready, you guys know. See you later up high. See you later over there. And then we get the bar. That's the first thing we see here. Not bad. It looks like it could piece together with another section of a bar. I'd have to dive deep in my collection. Does this thing continue? Hopefully it does. I'd love to continue out a piece of the bar. That would be okay with me. But you got a nice little piece. Yellow, silver on the top. A little bit of uh, a little bit of stuff going on here. So not too shabby if you ask me right there. And then uh, you got the drink here. A little bit different than the other ones we've got compared to hers. So you got a little blue in there. Is this blue milk? I don't know. It very well could be. But put that up on the bar right there. And then you got his drugs. Looks like some kind of uh, beakers and vials that you would see in your uh, high school science class. Something on Mr. Wizard, uh, but I believe that is supposed to be drugs. We'll see. Put that on there. It is what it is. And then we got Mr. Slee's Baggio, and he's got oh, he's got the dental floss holding his pistol in there. He's got these two little reindeer-esque horns up here, looking like a, a real Slee's bag with these horns. What kind of a Slee's bag has horns like this? Uh, but he's got the power of the force articulation, the legs up and down. Side to side, no. Head, yes. Arms are up and down. He's got one that has a little elbow joint to it a little bit. But nothing really too special with old sleaze baggy. Oh, he's got a nice coat. Oh, he does. You can put his blaster. He has a holster inside here, which is good. Because a drug dealer is always packing heat somewhere. He's packing a weapon of some sort. Uh, I've never done drugs. You guys know I'm a straight-edge guy. But I've seen some drug dealers. I've seen some things. I've seen some dead bodies in my life. Yeah, that's true. I have. I came across them. I said, ooh. Not good, not good. So yeah, there you go. 
but yeah, not bad. He looks kind of tweaked out and all this kind of stuff too. So really does look like a drug dealer here. You can have him behind the bar. You can have him in front of the bar. Uh, a lot you could do with this. And like I said, I'm going to put him probably in the Mos Eisley Cantina. We're going to combine some eras. We're going to combine some stuff. We're going to put them all together. And uh, that's where they're going to live in my collection. But I like this one just for the accessories alone. You know, first time in the line. That's pretty solid if you ask me. And the final piece of the Outlander nightclub, Obi-Wan Kenobi, by no means a stranger to any Star Wars line, and personally my favorite Jedi, I think. Uh, old Plo Koon and Kit Fisto, they stole my heart as well, but Obi-Wan still reigns at the top. Attack the Clones on the side, another piece of the bar. So I was just talking about pieces of bar, so we'll see if it'll connect to this one. Hopefully it will. I believe that's how it's made to do it, so let's see what happens there. On the back, we got the cross cell, we got the blurb, we got the glamour shots. We got the Jedi Master Points. It's all here for you. Everything you want. Let's see what it says about old Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker chase the assassin who attempted to take the life of Senator Amidalia into the Outlander nightclub on Coruscant. As Obi-Wan bides his time waiting for his quarry to make a move, he is approached by one of the low-life Slith Mongers. That would be old Slees Baggy, yo. Using the Jedi gesture of influence, I influence you to subscribe to the channel. There you go. Uh, he convinces the Slythe monger to reform his corrupt ways. Perfect. Perfect. Obi-Wan, he's, he's like a young dare teacher. I think he was the first dare teacher. Dare to keep a kid off drugs. I remember the song. We used to have the dare band. It was like a bunch of police officers. They'd come to the elementary school and they'd sing their drug-free songs and all this stuff. Uh, you know, I was in fourth, fifth, sixth grade, and they would they would tear the house down. They'd tear the house down at Rex Mathis Elementary School. Uh, they were just pounding away on the drums and everything else. And it must have worked. I never did drugs. I've never done a drug in my life. Straight Edge Kyle. Look at that. Thank you, Dare. See you later. See you later. There it is. And there it is. Obi-Wan. He's got a cup. He's got Obi-Wan. No lightsaber with this Obi-Wan. So that's a little change of pace. Not very often you get an Obi-Wan figure without a lightsaber. But here we are. 2021 strikes again. He's got a little, cla little glass here. So this thing could be easily lost. Got to be careful with that. Got the old scissors out. Like a young Brutus the Barber beefcake. Uh, pull this out of there. There you go. See you later up high. See you later. All right. First thing I want to know is can this combine? Let's see. It's got to, right? It's got to. It does. There we go. So it doesn't really stay like clipped in, but it just kind of stands next to each other and it kind of punches in. But I do like that. It flushes out the bar. There's no way you cannot get both of these guys. You need that full bar. So I like that a lot. That's going to look perfect in the Mos Eisley Cantina or wherever I deem to put it in my display. And there's a nice, a touch, nice attention to details here. As he's got dental floss all over him. Oh, Obi-Wan, what have you got yourself into? I don't know. But uh, Obi-Wan, he's got the little uh, fingers up, so he's doing the little influence. I influence you to subscribe to the channel. Daily Star Wars videos every day. Oh, man, he's got some crazy legs going on here. But I like that. It's got that little Jedi trick there, the old mind trick that we saw so much with Luke and him in the uh, land speeder and the stormtroopers in New Hope. Uh, very cool. That was the first time we saw that. But he's got big arm articulation going on on both arms. Uh, a lot for a three and three force figure at this time. So a lot of articulation there. Even got the uh, elbow articulation on this one. So very cool. I like to see that. Not the best Obi-Wan head sculpt. It's a little off. It's a little... A little wonky, as uh, they would say. Boot mold does move. You can move the bo the boots as articulation. And he's got that knee articulation that's really bad. Uh, but this is early days of the Star Wars articulation. You guys know we didn't get a lot of that beforehand. Uh, hopefully this cup fits in this hand. And it seems to look like it does here. And it does. Well, it's so sticky, though, it wants to stay in my hand. But there it is. I got it. He's drinking something. He's drinking something clean because he's straight edge as well. We know Obi-Wan doesn't mess around. He's a, he's one of them good Jedis. Uh, so I like that. So I'm going to have this one like he's calling for a couple of drinks or who knows what he's doing. But it's Obi-Wan, a different side of Obi-Wan. We usually get lightsaber, lightsaber action-packed Obi-Wan. This is hanging out at the nightclub Obi-Wan, uh, convincing drug dealers to drop their wares and just chilling out there. So 
pretty solid little set here. You can build out a little display, a little diorama, do whatever you want, but I think it's pretty cool at the end of the day. But what say you? Did you ever own these? Do you know anything about these? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram, and of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for the Outlander Nightclub and all of its patrons, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.